Hello everyone, this is William Park. This lecture is a part of the OPT 421-521 Introductory of the Mechanical Engineering course. So, in this lecture, I would like to talk about the advanced mechanical drawing, especially how to draw the section view or detailed views, something like that. Alright, let's do that. First of all, I need a example file. Okay, let me find the uh, example file. Oh, this is already done. Okay, so go first. Uh, you're in your computer drive. Okay, you can find uh, the C drive or D drive uh, where the SolidWorks installed already. So, uh, in my case, the SolidWorks is installed in Solid the C drive. Click that. You can find the program file folder here, right? And find the SOLIDWORKS Corporation folder the next is SOLIDWORKS and next is the sample where is the sample folder here samples and uh, the tutorial the finally you can find the advanced drawing folder so in go into the folder you find you should find the the food processor drawing file. I'm going to use this today. All right, open it. Yeah, this is the plate of the food processor. Now, um, I want to look at the cross section cr across this line. Okay, right. So uh, let's do this way. Okay, click view layout tab here. The middle of that you see the section view button okay section view button here once click it your mouse pointer is changed as pencil like that okay you see so the pencil has line right so now I'm going to draw the line to uh, intersect on your on this model okay so magnify it the will the, the uh, roll your mouse wheel to downward to magnify it all right, so let's do a little bit proper size. Okay, here. Uh, align your pencil here. Okay, move, align. I didn't click yet. Okay, so uh, move to here. Click that. And a little bit zoom out. And click here. From to here to here. Now, the section view is... is uh, automatically generate like that okay so click it so now uh, the section Q to Q views here so the Q is I, I don't like Q character Q now I want to change the character Q to A okay so click it so now uh, the character is changing so section view A to A is here Okay, this is really neat. Okay, or and also you can define the dimension right uh, on your this section view. So let uh, for example, so go to annotation tab, and here's the center line. All right, so click this edge and this edge, and I can make the center line like that. Okay, and also here, so click and click, and the, there is center line. So so move to smart dimension button okay so click this center line and this center line okay and now I can define the dimension of two between those two center line okay so this is just example and you can define all other dimensions on this section view as test as a matter of your taste all right mm, next step is how to make the detailed view all right so for example here uh, this is quite small features okay Fe features this is uh, the small features rather than the other the whole mechanical drawing yeah this is the what what happens sometimes you have to make dimensions on your mechanical drawing but that the features is really really small uh, the relative to uh, the whole feature, whole the drawings. So uh, it's hard to uh, make make it clear. So 
in that situation you have to make detailed view uh, through this way so now go to back uh, go back to the view layout tab here and you can find the, the detailed view right next to section view button so click it and your mouse pointer change as pencil the which is having the circle okay the, for the detail view you need uh, the circle rather than just the, the line okay so okay I want to focus on this area okay so mm, the click for the, the center of the circle and another click to make uh, the circle so now the detailed view actually zoom in view of that, that area uh, is automatically generated so click it uh, on your on, on some position of your drawing and then a little bit move okay um, let me change the scale of this okay go left and here is the, the scale of that so go up here um, user defined okay so it, it I I would say 2.5 and uh, 1 so and then click enter it so it's a little bit zoom in and magnify it well, it's a little bit good it's, it's uh, good so now I want to define the dimensions like that it's easy to define okay it's much easier than uh, when you define here right it's really small okay so yeah other dimensions you can define it uh, on your this detailed view okay all right now uh, the, the last thing is the, the broke broken down broken out views the section view um, actually this the uh, this drawing the mechanical two-dimensional drawing is projectional view projection views of your model okay, so you cannot uh, look at inside uh, using this two-dimensional view uh, so so the, the for that reason uh, the mechanical drawing this mechanical drawing SOLIDWORKS or the other program also have some functional view uh, which is the broke out broken out view so let's do this okay so go back to view layout tab here the right next to detail view button and you can find the broken out section view okay once click that your mouse pointer also changing right as pencil mouse pointer change to pencil uh, and also it its pencil has the spline curve uh, below that now I would I going to draw the spline curve okay let's see let me let me broken broke here okay down to some the distance from the upper surface okay so first of all I want to make uh, uh, the spline curve okay so uh, after once uh, clicking once this pencil tend to uh, draw the line the straight line okay but it's not uh, the after the second clicking is changing curve okay so another clicking click 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 yeah you can draw some preformed <laughs> closed cu closed curve okay so now uh, after drawing the closed curve uh, some other the the options windows pops up on your left side okay so you need some mm, the the reference the entities okay that's uh, that's for the the depth of your the broken broken out section view so let me uh, up to uh, let me click this edge so this edge means uh, the the broken out up to here okay so click that 
and now you can see uh, the the views right uh, this is quite not neat <laughs> okay uh, let me change um, well um, where is the okay here so here is the broken out section view okay right click and edit definition of the things okay so let me change to here okay what happened um, not very good this one what about this one so right click and edit the definition of on the, this one okay let me click the preview all right this is much better than before all right so this is the uh, this is the broken out section view. So when you want to show your in the model the model inside of your model, okay. So you can use this functional the view the broken out section view. This is really neat. And also you can draw whatever you uh, the the curve whatever you want, okay. What curve you want? All right. Okay, another. Oh, okay, this one. Uh, <laughs> there is the weird uh, some the, the rectangular here. So this means you need to do something. Okay, go to here. You can see some traffic light. Okay, traffic light symbol, which means uh, this the drawing needs to be up uh, reload reload reload. Okay. I mean updates um, okay so go up to here this is the button to rebuild uh, I mean to update uh, after you changing something on your drawing so just click it it's gone like that all right so uh, these are all I want to show for you to uh, in this lecture so uh, please, uh, I really encourage you to follow these steps to draw detail view, um, cross section view, and also broken out section view. Okay. So if you have any question, uh, please let me know via email, or you can come to my office, uh, which is located in the Minor Building, Room One Twenty Five. Okay. Thank you.